most people want the first thing to be perfect, not because they're thinking 10 years down the line, I want to look back and I want to be so proud of myself, but because they're afraid of being judged by the people who are going to see it and it's not going to be good enough. I think if you actually ask people to be reflective and imagine 2029, you looking back on 2019, you, you'd much rather see that it wasn't perfect and you see the growth in that, wow, look how far I've come. Because if you logically talk people through that, that's a much better story. You yeah. coming on and sucking and that you stayed with it and kept going is a way better story than you were perfect out of the gate because nobody's going to be able to feel like they're connected to you if you were perfect from your first one. But the bigger fear of the perfectionism on the first video or the first whatever is that it's going to suck. Therefore, you feel like you suck. And then other people will judge you for being so bad. I don't think most people are looking like 10 years mm -hmm. down the line. I think they're too caught up in the moment as opposed to if you had perspective, it would actually help you get momentum. Yeah, see, I, I struggle from like most of us, right? Like I have high standards and I want everything to be really, really good. But the other thing I struggle with, which is I think what was holding me up and still holds me up is I don't want to waste the gold when there's no one watching, right? Like it's this idea of like, well, when my audience gets big enough and when my business gets big enough and when this gets big enough, then I'm going to go ahead and give the really good stuff. But I don't want to waste the amazing stuff when no one's watching. And that's something that I realized maybe about a year ago is like, if you want the audience and if you want the growth and if you want all those things, you, you have to speak and, and put the effort in as if the audience and the growth and all those things are already there. Because to your point, you're still going to suck at it and learn as you go anyway, right? Yeah. And, and it's like, here's the thing, high standards, we're using that as praise. But the reality is, if you're struggling with that, you have high standards for the work the output, but low standards for yourself. Because if you mean? actually had, if you had high standards for yourself, then you wouldn't be so attached to something sucking at the beginning. I don't. You have high that. standards for the work. You have high standards for like I want this to look a certain way. Yeah. Because but if you have high standards me. for yourself, then you start to value the effort that you're putting in and realizing that you win by going to the gym and by mm. lifting five pounds. Mm and then seven pounds and 10 pounds. So we wear that as a badge of honor. If I have high standard, no, you don't. You have low standards. You have low personal standards. You just have high standards for your output because there's low standards for yourself. It's a self-confidence problem. If you're digging the conversation I'm having with my friend, Evan Carmichael, you have got to hear the whole talk. Click on the link right over there to hear the whole conversation.